Hey folks, uh, I'd like to welcome you to the to our live uh, program, Unshakable Live. Um, I'm Martin Bogosian, and uh, we got a very interesting show today. Got a couple of guests with me. One of them you probably know very well from the show. Uh, the other one, maybe not, but you guys will get to meet them today. So uh, I'd like to introduce my two guests today. First, Arthur and Arutin. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. Um, well, I want to just, I guess, just straight jump into it. Uh, we started a little late, but that's okay. Um, Artin is here, and he works with the organization Unified Young Armenians. And I just wanted to ask you, can you um, tell us what your organization is about? Sure. Um, I would like to thank uh, you guys, Unshakables, for this opportunity for us to be able to represent, uh, uh, present our organization, Unified Young Armenians, to the, uh, to the public, especially to the youth. Um, Unified Young Armenians has been uh, probably the most uh, dynamic youth organization um, in the community that has served uh, various purposes. The biggest and the most important thing that we have done in the past is uh, the April 24th march in Little Armenia, Hollywood that has uh, brought together over 100,000 people and the numbers are according to Fox News and CNN and uh, sources as such. Mm. Uh, apart from the April 24th march which we'll talk about uh, in more details the organization does various uh, programs, educational um, activist, uh, activism programs, uh, programs uh, such as our uh, free Armenian language history and culture classes that we hold every week, um, which is free to the public. And we have students from 6 to 18 that come uh, to our classes every, every day and um, every week and learn the culture, get to know, and really taste what it's really about to be Armenian. And for, for us, that's very extremely crucial for our organization, for our long-term goals and for our short-term goals. Um, apart from that, we support, uh, every year we uh, select five students in Armenia who are uh, going into college, they're college-bound, and we support them with scholarships um, in different fields that we believe, the youth believe that it's important, such as physics, uh, chemistry, math, engineering, political science, and uh, those types of majors that would uh, hopefully uh, in the long term uh, give some sort of a benefit to Armenia and to our community uh, in general. Uh, we also, has, I mean, as it has been always, we have tried to give youth a voice. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, in the past it used to be that uh, the youth, especially the Armenian youth, were told what to do they were given an agenda and we were told to follow. Um, starting a few years ago, the youth have actually set the agendas. Um, they were able to raise the money on their own uh, with the help of the public, uh, with various, uh, I guess, events through our telethons and through other means. Um, and they were able to set their own agendas because they were independent financially and um, logistically independent of other organizations, be it political organizations, political parties, uh, establishment, let's say the churches, the different uh, groups that today operate in this uh, community. Uh, we basically gave them a voice and we have touched upon some very, very controversial issues. Uh, we gave them uh, a platform from where they can present their ideas, debate it, and um, basically, whatever the democratic society that we live in, whatever we have learned in this community, uh, in this country, we try to actually make it put into practice. And uh, that's what the Unified Young Armenians has been uh, about all these uh, eight years, eight or nine years. And we are glad, we're really proud that we have been able to get the support of organizations and people like you uh, and the public that have always been with us. They have always. Uh, have gone above and beyond their abilities to be able to accommodate uh, this organization, our goals, our mission, and our purpose. Interesting. Uh, I just want to let our viewers know that today's show is live, uh, and the number is there on your screen, 818-484-5531. It was make hard to make a lot of money to make the TV show live, and it was made in 1955. So it was hard to make a lot of money to make the organization. Arthur has been involved with your organization uh, for 
for the past couple three, of years, three, three years. Uh, what what is your uh, what has your involvement been like, and, and what do you have to say about what uh, Autotune and, and the organization United uh, Unified uh, Young Armenians are doing? Yeah, I just I just want to make uh, sure. Uh, I know I'm on the show always speaking uh, from <laughs> from uh, the view of uh, from our view, you know. And uh, today, because I've been part of uh, Unified Young Armenians, uh, today I want to speak and um, from their point of view mm -hmm. and what they do. And what we do actually um, as as an organization, and uh, how we want to enhance the Armenian community. So I think um, so. Let's let's get that clear. I'm I'm not speaking from a religious perspective right now, um, even though that's my worldview. Uh, I think uh, the main thing, uh, past any other organization that's uh, that that's ever been in this community, um, that's done has been to make a voice, a legitimate voice, for the Armenian people where we show up in numbers, where we show up loudly, and we get the attention of the American media and the American government. I mean, you don't have to go far, but on April 24th or the 25th, just turn on the TV and go through the, your local channels, channel 2, channel 4, channel 7, channel 9, 13, 11. They're all reporting it. They, they, they all have the images of what goes on in Little Armenia. And we've been, we've, I, I think I've had the privilege of, of working with um, some of the greatest youth in our community that a lot of people might not be able to see. And, uh, but uh, as, as young people, as youth, we're able to voice our opinion about the Armenian Genocide, that we want recognition about the Armenian Genocide. And I mean, he mentioned the various things that, that the organization is doing, like Armenian culture classes and stuff like that. But I think mainly that's what the, from the beginning, to get recognition for the Armenian Genocide from other countries in the world, and from the United States. So wh why the organization? I mean, why uh, why this route? Why, um, you know, you guys mentioned the Armenian Genocide and things like that, but why else? Why else uh, do you, have you guys formed Unified Young Armenians? Uh, um, well, um, it's very important that um, any community, be it here, be it in Canada, be it in Germany, it's very important for every community and every people um, to have ideals. Mm -hmm. I think. That is the most important thing, and that's what we see today uh, in the, even the American politics, uh, in the elections that's going on. The people that uh, tend to be negative tend to always see the bad side of the things and tend to always uh, move the country, I guess, towards the worst and worse and worse. Uh, they are not successful. And on the other hand, the people that have ideals, the, especially the youth, or full of ideals, probably were the most idealistic of all groups. Uh, we believed in... Um, our power, our force, our movement, um, and for some reason we were able to, because we were able to gain the people's trust. We have always, uh, one of the examples that I can bring is that we have always um, have, I guess, brought the accountability, the, all the accounts to the public. We have shown them where the, let's say, the finances that they contribute go. And uh, this year it's not going to be any difference, mm -hmm. different. Um, we have always involved the public if they have called, uh, if they have shown their concerns, they, uh, their uh, comments, we have always taken them into consideration. We have invited them to various forums. Um, we've gotten their opinions. And that's why uh, I think it's very important that it's, it's ideals that we keep and it's the ideals that we try to uh, communicate to the public that they also need to have an ideal. Uh, yeah. And those are the, I guess, the most crucial. I mean, um, one of the events that we have coming up is on um, March 24th, which is directly related to the Armenian elections. Um, we all saw that in Armenia in the last two months, uh, almost we had a national crisis. I mean, we had a national crisis. Um, it was on the news, it was on CNN, Fox, and every other uh, news source that you could imagine. Um, and it was a very, very unfortunate time for our people, for our public. Um, this event, uh, we're going to have, uh, it's going to be a political commentator uh, from ATV. Uh, his name is Armin Dilanian, which most uh, of the people already know him. Uh, we're going to have a uh, political dialogue. It's going to be, he's a journalist. He's one of the most prominent journalists that was uh, in Armenia when everything happened. And uh, it's going to be a discussion between the youth and uh, Armin Dilanian and the public, mm. which we're going to give the I guess the opportunity to the public to uh, voice their concerns, get a feedback from someone that has actually been there. We always hear things, uh, unfortunately, very of them. I mean, too, many of them misleading about 
what goes on in the country. I mean, we heard that, um, I guess, thousands of people were, uh, I guess, massacred or um, there's absolutely, I mean, no problems in Armenia. I mean, we always see the, the extremes. And yeah. I think those are the things that we have to uh, be careful about. And at this time, it's absolutely crucial for us to be able to bring all sides together and try to at least... Um, prevent a yeah. civil war, a civil crisis. And I see that you have your magazine with you, and this is your first article. Well, this is um, actually this um, this uh, volume of our uh, magazine came out about a month ago. Okay. And uh, it was directly related, as you can see, uh, it was directly related to, to the Armenian uh, elections. Yeah. Um, the magazine, The Rise of the Youth, um, I mean, the, the goal and the purpose and the mission of this magazine has been to, as I said, to give a voice to the youth. And in this magazine, we, the youth, uh, and some of the public, uh, the people that have uh, truly submitted articles that have been worth publishing, we were able to publish them in uh, this uh, volume and in the volumes in the future. It's going to be a tri-monthly. Um, it's going to come out, actually, sorry, quarterly. And we're going to be, again, discussing the most important issues that today we as a public, we as a people, we as a country face. And I know many of us are not born in, in Armenia. Yeah. Uh, many of us have not been raised in Armenia, and we, some of us haven't even gone to Armenia. And, uh, but we still reserve the right to be worried about Armenia uh, and the Armenian people and the community. And this is, the, I guess, one of the means that anyone and everyone can get involved. Okay. I want to pull away from the organization a little bit and discuss uh, things on an individual uh, basis. Uh, once again, we have Arutin here with us from uh, Unified Young Armenians uh, and Arthur, which you guys all uh, know pretty well. Uh, I want to ask Arutin, if you could say one thing to the youth, the Armenian youth, uh, living in Glenda, living in America, uh, those watching today, which is mostly in this area, uh, what, would it, what would you say to the youth? Oh, I have a lot to say to the youth. I mean, that's uh, something that I've always, uh, we've always talked about in the group, um, our message. We have always tried to get our message out. But if there's one thing uh, that I want to, I guess, convey to the youth is that be active. I mean, that's the most important thing. Uh, if I can add one more thing to this, uh, to my message, be active and care about Armenia. Um, I don't want to move it to, I mean, move this conversation into a political direction, yeah. but we might live in this country for 100 years max, uh, and we're going to be gone for, I mean, forever. But the country of Armenia, the people of Armenia, um, they're going to be there. I mean, as an entity, I'm not talking about the actual physical <laughs> entity, but as a moral, as a uh, abstract entity, we're going to be there. and. Whatever we, what steps that we take today, it's going to affect uh, our people in Armenia, the conditions in Armenia, be it economic, social, political of Armenia. We have a say, we have a, a direct say, especially living in this country, it's absolutely important. We are living in uh, the country that's the sole superpower in the world. And if we do not use this opportunity uh, to betterment and to further some of the causes, I mean, I, I know all of us have different causes. Like for us, the Armenian genocide, um, the situation, I mean, the betterment of the country, like those are the things that we worry about as youth, as unified young Armenians. That's what we worry about. And we've always tried to bring other people to also come and worry about things. Mm. But when it's time to have fun, why not? Let's have fun. But uh, always, 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 let's have it in back of our minds that we have a purpose, we have a mission. Have a I'm, I'm going to come back to that statement about being active as Armenian youth, but I want to see from Arthur's perspective, as someone who's worked with uni Unified Young Armenians, what would you say to the youth from the perspective of someone that's uh, partnered with Unified Young Armenians? Let me, let me give an example, um, and let me be real with the people. Before this organization existed, on April 24th, we used to get in our cars, put flags on our cars, and drive around and honk. Okay, the I've step, done the step on thing. Uh, <laughs> he he was more visual at it, but uh, but we used to put it in our cars and and do that. I've done that. Okay, um, which isn't something I'm very proud of. I think it's actually stupidity to do that. But over the years that we've seen unified young Armenians exist, we've seen a decrease in that. Mm -hmm. 
We on April twenty fourth, youth getting in their cars just. I'm not saying that stopped. There's still some people who haven't caught on, uh, who who aren't advanced in their thinking maybe. Uh, so, but we've seen a decrease in that. Those people that were doing that, like me, joined the organization, became unified young Armenians, and actually did something productive. Mm. So you're saying uh, before ha before there was just this individual just crazy exactly like, you guys brought people together well essentially um, you have to exp I mean I can't blame the youth of today um, mm -hmm. I mean we we have to take responsibility for that as well um, I think if the youth are spoken to told that there's some actions that actually work against our cause against our people mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they have the smarts, they have the brain and they have the mind and their mindfulness of stopping actions that actually would hurt. I mean, as an example, as Archer brought up, I brought the example, um, a flag, a national flag, the American flag, um, if it falls on the floor, if it gets dusty, they burn the flag as a sign of respect. Uh, but unfortunately, as Armenians, we, we tend to sometimes pull the flag on the floor, uh, which I... I want to appeal to the youth that a flag um, has value. Many people, millions of people have died for the Armenian flag. And the Armenian flag has, all, has to be always standing up. Uh, if you have to do, uh, if you have to put the flag up, it has to be standing um, up and wave, I guess wavering. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, in a way, I also believe that uh, we have to give the youth the opportunity to um, profess their national or nationalistic feelings or patriotic feelings. Uh, you cannot expect them to come together at once a year uh, for April 24th and not even, I mean, that's even something that I believe in, and uh, not show their feelings uh, if that's the only way that they know how to show their nationalistic yeah. or patriotic feelings. That's why we have worked on different issues. We, uh, we're going to have different festivals, different parades, in the community, I mean, uh, in the community this year and in the years ahead, so that the youth have the opportunity to actually put the flags up and uh, celebrate. See, that, that, that leads me to my question that I wanted to get into about activism. Uh, you said that the youth should be active, and I was talking to someone uh, who said that, you know, it seems like youth, not just Armenian youth, youth across the nation are not protesting anymore. Like uh, in, in the 70s, there was pro protests and this and that. He said, that scares me. You know, he goes, that scares me that the youth are not standing up and protesting. Um, and you're calling people to be active uh, and involved in activism, particularly for the Armenian people. Uh, how can they do that? How can they go about doing that? Uh, I know you guys provide a lot of opportunities, but how can the youth go about being active in this situation? Sure. Um, I think the community, I mean, as of today, there's many, many ways of getting involved for the youth. I mean, uh, and the youth have different preferences. Uh, I mean, some of them, um, like the Unshakables, gives a more spiritual, religious uh, a way of people to get involved, uh, which is very commendable. Um, and UYA, or Unified Young Armenians, gives the youth an opportunity of getting involved into activism, and uh, not politics, because, I mean, there's a distinction between <laughs> the two. Uh, I've always tried to make this clear. We never have gotten involved in electoral politics and electioneering. Mm -hmm. um, so when people talk about us being involved in politics, yes. If this is politics, and I do believe that uh, fighting for a cause, be it poverty, Armenian genocide, or crimes against uh, humanity, this is politics. But we give the youth an opportunity to get involved in politics, uh, in political, non-electioneering political ways. And um, I guarantee you the youth of today, if they have the opportunity, they would get involved. Yeah. We are uh, extremely, uh, I mean, the youth, especially the Armenian youth, are extremely aware today of the things that go on in the community, in Armenia. And as an example, MySpace and Facebook. Yeah. I mean, those are the two examples that I personally view at times to see what the youth, what direction the youth go. And we see that they care about the Armenian politics, the, the events that happened in the last two, two months. It was probably all over the my, I mean, MySpace and yeah. Facebook, and they actually, the youth actually forwards very, very good uh, arguments, and 
that, that was something that I was extremely glad about. And we encourage if there are people that want to and they're interested in those, they can come to the Unified Indian Armenians, uh, even as someone, as, so we can just talk and discuss these issues. And uh, that's something that we provide. Yeah. And uh, we have, our activities are very multi, I guess, uh, multi-dimensional. We, yeah. um, I mean, in the future, we would more uh, talk about these events. But in October, we have a youth leadership conference that it's not someone else talking for the youth, but it's actually the youth taking charge of the conference. And um, the topic of this uh, upcoming uh, conference is going to be how I view my enemy, be mm -hmm. it I mean, traditional Azerbaijan and Turkey, the view of the Armenian youth. And that's something that has never been discussed. That that's something that never has been given the opportunity to the, uh, to the youth to discuss an important issue like that. I mean, some people, I mean, people have different varying uh, views of uh, this topic, and we hope that events as such would help them, I guess, give their ideas and get, listen to other people's ideas. It's not just about talking; it's about listening. Yeah, it, it sounds it sounds a lot like you guys are kind of moving in the beginning stages of bringing change. Uh, as far as uh, bringing awareness, it sounds like a lot of this is awareness, which is something that's key and important to make people aware of what's happening and aware of other people's ideals and ideas. And I'm glad because I, I heard from uh, what's going to be happening in, in through the magazine is there's going to be debate. There's going to be various points of view. Uh, Arthur's going to be involved in that, I think, uh, where there's going to be different points of view. And right there in the same magazine and arguments and rebuttals back and forth where it's bringing awareness to what's happening and, and I think that's a very important issue if people don't know then they're probably not going to care because they don't have opportunity to care uh, Arthur do you have anything uh, you want to add uh, to, to our conversation here no I think uh, well, yes if I said no I would stop talking <laughs> but yes I do uh, it would be uh, number one I, I love the name of the magazine The Rise of the Youth um, if we study, I mean, uh, world history and history in general, is that we see either youth have done things negatively or positively. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, in recent history, you know, we did see in Iran, the youth did that. As a matter of fact, in Turkey, the young Turks, it, it wasn't the old Turks. It was the young Turks who brought out this, this new idea, and, and, and which was a terrible, horrible idea, but it was still the youth. But we've also seen youth do things that are positive and bring change. Mm. So I think, I think the, the bottom line is that when people look at youth, they look past them. They say, oh, they don't know enough, we're experienced, we know what to do. But what we're doing here is saying youth have a voice, we have a legitimate voice, and we want to make it heard. Um, I just want to add one thing. Um, we have the numbers. Uh -huh. I mean, um, in the past, Yes, as far as the leadership positions are concerned, as far as political figures are concerned. Today we see that many of the Armenian youth are actually moving up uh, the leadership ladders because they want to move up and they're extremely ambitious and they want to bring about change. And uh, any, any national crisis, any national decisions that are made by the elderly, uh, which we have immense respect for mm -hmm. them, um, at the end of the day, the people that pay for, let's say, war, is the youth. We fight the wars. We actually physically, it's the youth that go to the front lines and die, be it Qarabakh, be it uh, Iraq, or any of, any of that sort. Mm. I'm not talking about the legitimacy of a decision or not, but just the, 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 the people that are affected. Mm -hmm. And as in a long term, uh, in a longer term, uh, I guess, effect, it's again us that's going to be uh, affected by the decisions made by the last generation. Yeah, definitely. And that's something that uh, I just want to make sure that the youth understand and uh, they acknowledge and um, because of that they try to bring change, uh, try to bring positive change. Yeah. Now uh, we're running out of time for this segment and I'm pretty sure we're going to have you back more uh, to, to discuss what's happening with Unified Young Armenians but I want you in Armenian uh, to kind of give any last words and also uh, Promote anything you want to promote as far as, you know, your Armenian classes and things like that. Because that's, I think that's great uh, that you guys are doing that. So just take the segment to uh, do that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
գիտեք ամեն ծրագրի ընթացքում ենք նշում ենք թե ինչ է կարևորությունը քայլ աշավի կարևորությունը դասա կրթվել երիտասարդներին մյուս նոր սերունդին կրթելու եւ տարբեր թեմաների մասին խոսում բայց այսօր ասենք չարաշայելու այս ժամավորը դրամադրել են ես կուզենայի կոչանեի ձեզ հարգաժան բարիկաններ գիտեք ապլի 24-ը իրապես այն մեկորն է որ բոլոր ասենք համանկի բոլոր ուժերը տալինի քաղաքական եկեղեցական կրոնական ուժերը գալիս են մեկ տեղ հայնակցական միությունները որ գալիս են մեկ տեղ մեկ մարդուրման եւ մեկ բրուսկի նման բրուսկի պես ներկայացնում են իրենց բողոքի ձայնը բոլոր աշխարհին եւ մենք ուզում ենք որ բոլորը գիտակցեն որ իրենք էլ ամեն մեկը գրեք նկարներ դուք շուտով անցյալ տեսել եք բայց քայլ արշավին էլ որ անպայման մասնակցեք կտեսնեք թե ժողովուրդը ոնց ինչ միաբուր ինչ ոնց ասեմ շատ հապարտորեն այդ օրը մասնակցում է իր այդ սրտի ցավը այդ ճիչը հասցնելու աշխարհին եւ ամեն մի մարդ կարևոր դեր է դեր է խաղում տարբեր ատյաները որ հայտարարում են կան հազարավոր 100 հազարավոր մարդիկ դա մեր ամբողջության մասնակցելու միջոց միջոցով է ստեղծվում եւ դու կարող եք ինչպես անցյալում եւ ես նորից կուզենամ ձեզ խնդրել որ այս տարի եւս մասնակցեք մեզի թե բուտիկում կայնենք թե ֆինանսապես թե հոգեպես մեր գալիք ծրագրներում գումարահավակներում թելեթոններում մեզ հետ մասնակցեք մեզ հետ եղեք եւ մենք խոսք ենք տալի որ մենք կհաղթենք կհաղթենք եթե ոչ այս տարի մյուս եթե թե ոչ տեղի տարիներ որ մենք չենք սпасում մենք շարունակ ենք պայքարել եւ պայքարը շարունակվի մինչ այն ժամանակ որ մենք կստանանք մեր արդարդատը Thank you Thank you I appreciate it. Good to have you on the show uh, we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be back for the next segment uh, pretty soon so stay tuned